Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sydney Marrow, and I'm chief of staff here uh, in the city of Brockton. Mayor Sullivan is en route, and I thought I would get started so that we wouldn't be here all afternoon. I know everyone has other places to be, but he is on his way, and hopefully he'll make it in time to read the proclamation. If not, I'm it. So welcome. Welcome to City Hall, and thank you very much for celebrating Lebanese Independence Day with us today. I would first of all like to thank all of our uh, local and state delegation who's in attendance. Senator Brady, thank you for always celebrating with us, as well as Rep. Jerry Cassidy, City Clerk Tim Cruz, um, I'm sorry, President, Council President Jack Lally, thank you Jack, Shirley Azak, Council from Ward 7, uh, Joyce Azak, Bye. <laughs> Joyce. Thank you uh, for being with us today. And I'm glad we're inside because last year I think we all froze just a tad and it's very cold outside. So thank you for all of us. Oh, Tim, I'm sorry, Tim. I did see you. Tim Sullivan from the school committee. Thank you for being with us today. And all of our city hall employees and staff who are here this afternoon, we appreciate it. Um, today is very special, especially to um, the, the Lebanese residents of this community because um, it's just another opportunity for us to celebrate our rich, rich cultural heritage. And um, so just a little bit about Lebanese, Le Lebanon. It's a country located on the eastern shore of the Mediterranean Sea. It consists of a narrow strip of territory and one of, is one of the world's smaller sovereign states, the capital being Beirut. Lebanese people, as we all know, are very strong people, which is further explained by the illustrations of their flag. The flag symbolizes their strength and wealth. Uh, there is a... cedar tree in the center of it, along with um, red and white stripes that uh, symbolize the bloodshed that preserved the, the country against its invaders. The green cedar tree, which was inspired by the mountains of Lebanon and is just a symbol of strength. I wanna thank you all for coming today, but before we, get, before we hoist the flag and partake in some of the wonderful food that Shirley and her family have provided for us this afternoon, I want to introduce Shirley Azak to come up here and speak, after which I would love for Joyce to come up and say a few words. Sure you want to, of course you do. Yeah, <laughs> we are today. <laughs> Shirley. Thank you very much, Sydney. and uh, the mayor did contact us to let us know that he is on route and um, I want to first of all thank him, th thank Mayor Sullivan and his staff for organizing this because without them, this wouldn't be possible. And as Sydney mentioned, last year we were outside. It was the first time in the history of Brockton that we raised a Lebanese flag. So I'm very proud of that. I'm a, I'm a very proud Lebanese American and even prouder to be a Lebanese Brocktonian. So I'm very proud to be in this beautiful building, raising our uh, flag with this beautiful, um, we have beautiful customs, beautiful heritage. I, many of you that I see in this room already are very familiar with our culture. So I'm thankful for you for celebrating with us. Um, Brockton's been a, a home for Lebanese people for a long time, for over, for hundreds of years. So um, I'm proud to be just Brocktonian that carries this throughout, that has carried it throughout the years. I'm one Azak, but there was many Azaks before me that made history in this city. There were many Nazarellas, there were Matters, there were Hepshies, there was Georges, Thomases, many families that built this city. Sabers, um, we have a lot of Samias. I mean, I could go on, I don't want to miss a family because each family, the Lewis family, there's a lot of families that are, have been here for long time. I'm a first generation, um, you know, I wasn't born here. I, my kids actually are first generation. I would, my parents immigrated when I was seven years old, but it feels like this is my home. This is my country. Lebanon is my heritage, but um, 
this is my country. So I appreciate everything that the city of Broughton has given us, that the state of Massachusetts and the US of A has given to us Lebanese here. So once again, I'm not gonna babble on, but I'm very proud of the Lebanese that are here that have accomplished so much in the city of Brockton. And um, the next speaker, my sister, who is vice chair of the school committee. So I'm proud to announce Joyce Azak. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. So um, it's always an honor to represent our country that we were born in. And um, this is our second annual Lebanese Heritage Day. And um, I look forward to this day. I, I kept saying to Shirley, when is it? When have they scheduled it? So this is where we can showcase our heritage. Um, in the city of Brockton, we're, we're proud Brocktonians. And just a little bit, even though it's Lebanese Heritage Day, this is my mom. And my parents actually came here on a vacation in 1978. And it's been a long vacation. But we were able to, you know, things happened, war broke out, things were a lot worse in, um, in Lebanon. And this is our home. Brockton is our home. And thank you to Mayor Sullivan and the city of Brockton for recognizing um, this, this big day for us as far as Lebanese Heritage Day. So thank you, everybody. Uh, we appreciate you all attending. And I'm not sure who's next on the list. Thank you. Thank you. And, um... <laughs> So I named a few families, and I, there's one that has been uh, very important to Brockton, very important in business, and that's uh, the Saab family. So uh, that's another family that's very uh, prominent in Brockton. So I'm going to give the mic back to Sydney. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, at this time, I would like to ask Father Joseph Abisad to come up, and I'm going to present you with the proclamation. Whereas Lebanon gained its independence from France on November 22, 1943, and after 23 years of colonial rule and approximately 400 years of Ottoman rule, and whereas the Lebanese flag features a broad white stripe at its center representing snow, peace, and unity, two narrow red stripes at the top and bottom symbolizing the Lebanese bloodshed which preserved the country against invaders, and a green cedar tree inspired by the mountains of Lebanon cedar. And whereas the growth and prosperity of Brockton, Massachusetts are due in part to an ethnic diversity which includes the Lebanese population, and whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of Lebanese customs, food, and culture, which were brought here by Lebanese immigrants who have made an indelible mark on the city of champions, and whereas it is an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our citizens of Lebanese ancestry and to extend to them best wishes for continued success and prosperity. Now therefore, Robert Sullivan as mayor of the city of Brockton hereby proclaims November 22nd, 2022 in the city of Brockton as Lebanese Independence Day. Thank you. And if you'd like to say a few words, Father? Sure. Well, in the name of the Lebanese community that I represent, the faction of Earth, the Maronite faction of our community, I thank for, uh, uh, Mayor Robert Sullivan for this citation of today. Uh, I thank also all the officers who are working on this hard in the city, not only the Lebanese one, but everyone that is putting efforts to lift up Brockton and the state of Massachusetts in all. Uh, I am proud of being uh, from a Lebanese descent. I've been naturalized in this country uh, around 17 years ago, and I still remember the day when we were sworn in as citizens of the United States of America, that great country that is home to many, many, many people from all over the world. The judge that was presiding over that ceremony and he told us that day, don't melt in the American society, but bring the particular things that your culture has given you, bring it to the American society and enrich the society of whatever values you have. 
So I still remember that beautiful sentence of the judge 17 years ago. And here I'm witnessing today what everyone, every immigrant is bringing to this country, its values, its culture, and the best they can ever offer. I'm proud to be part of this community here today. I'm proud to be a Brocktonian, even though I wasn't, I was assigned to Brockton for uh, July, the beginning of July. I'm new to the city, but I'm discovering its richness and the beauty and the virtues of its people. Thank you again for every one of you. Thank you, Senator, to be part of it today, all the officers and all the officials of the Brockton uh, community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now, everyone, we're going to hoist. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're going to have the national anthem sung by Alexandra Eunice. Kulluna lil watan lil ula lil alam mil uain is zaman seifuna wal kalam sahluna wal shabal man bitun lil rijal kauluna wal amal fi sabil al kamal kulluna lil watan lil ula lil alam kulluna للوطن شيخنا والفتى عند صوت الوطن استغاب متى صورتنا الفتن صرخنا قلبه ابدا لبنان صانه ربه لمدى الازمان كلنا للوطن للولا للعالم كلنا للوطن بحره بره درة الشركين رفته بره ماله الكتبين اسمه عزه من دكان الجدود مجده أرزه رمزه للخلود كلنا للوطن للولا للعالم كلنا للوطن Well, thank you all. That concludes the flag raising. And at this time, if you would like to, once I, like I said, uh, the ASACs have presided some refreshments. <laughs> Please help yourself. Thank you all. And have a safe and happy Thanksgiving to all. And uh, thank you very much, Shelly and Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.